Do you get frustrated upon hearing how the homeowner went with the cheaper bid? I did too, and I'm going to share how to change that. Hey everybody, I'm Steve with DYB Coach, and I'm sure you've also heard many times how everybody loves to paint, or maybe you've heard, oh, anybody can paint. Well, yes, and anybody can race their car too, but that doesn't mean that they could just go and simply win the Daytona 500. Why is that? Because of all the preparation and training it takes, but what they don't realize is all the training needed to learn proper preparation alone, all of the prep work that goes into painting the surface properly and profitably. For example, you have to clear the room rooms, protect the furniture and the floors, remove the electrical plates and all that before you even begin to start prepping your surfaces. Next, you need to spackle all the holes in the walls and the ceilings. You may need to make a few drywall repairs with some hot mud and wait for it to dry in order to sand or match with some orange peel knocked down or some other texture to match the existing texture on the walls or ceilings. Then you sand the trim and doors if they are to be painted, caulk all the cracks and the openings, and now you might be ready to actually paint. Can you imagine showing up to a job, skipping all the prep needed, and just applying the top coat, and then going home and hoping that it turned out great? No way! Well, it's the same way with sales. If you're just showing up to the estimate, meeting the homeowner, measuring, and then emailing your proposal only to never hear back from most of them, or if you do hear back, you heard about how they went with the cheaper bid, that's because you haven't properly prepared to close the sale. Here are five things that you must do to properly prepare to close sales even when you're not the cheapest bid. Number one, be the guy that everybody knows, likes, and trusts in your business community. You do this through networking and community involvement, through multiple networking groups like BNI, Chamber, and Rotary, just to name a few. This is actually step five in the DYB system, and I'll explain each of these groups, unpacking each of their strengths and opportunities for you in another video. But for now, just remember, it's not who you know, it's who knows you. Number two, Social proof. You have number one down. You are a power network. Everybody knows, likes, and trusts you, but what are they saying about you and do you have it documented? Capture these through Google reviews and video testimonials. Tons of them. You want overwhelming proof that your company provides the absolute best experience. The easiest way to get Google reviews is to email your Google review link to your customers who have Gmail addresses and capture video testimonials, which I went over in video number 31, Ultimate Social Proof. Number three, your website. This is really your digital storefront and should be loaded with social proof and transparency, so much that when they book you many times, they won't even call another company as was the case for us. I'll go over the DYB website conversion funnel, AKA making your website a lead generating machine in another video. In fact, we unpack it step by step in our members area, but for now, make sure you share your story and a range of your prices. This transparency will set you heads and tails above the others, properly preparing you to close the sale. Number four, only spend time with those looking for value and not the cheapest price. You do this by pre-qualifying them before you book the estimate because you compete on value, not price. Now the most insightful pre-qualifying question you can ask is source. How did you hear about us? Or who can we thank for referring you to us? If they say Rotary or previous customer, that's likely a great lead. If they say Google, then you must pre-qualify further. So I'll post the uh, pre-qualifying questions in a link down below that you can download for free. Number five, present your proposal on the spot. Think about this from the consumer's perspective. If you go to Amazon to buy something from Amazon and they say, hey, thanks for stopping by, we'll email you a price in a few days. Would we go elsewhere? Yeah. If you went to the car lot to buy a new truck and a car salesman, hey, thanks for stopping by, I'll email you a price in the next few days. How many vehicles do you think he would sell? Not many. If Amazon and the car salesman sales would see a dramatic drop in sales if they didn't provide pricing on the spot and instead they would shoot you an email in the next few days, how many more sales would you likely close by providing your proposal on the spot? A lot. 
Just think about how many more jobs you could close if you presented your estimate on the spot. There are two estimating programs we recommend that will help you to do just that. They are Estimate Rocket and PEP. And if you're a DYB member, you get 10% off of those. So let's recap. Five things to properly prepare so that you close more sales. Number one, be the guy that everybody knows, likes, and trusts in your business community through networking. Number two, social proof. Google reviews and video testimonials. Number three, load your website with transparency and social proof. Number four, pre-qualify. Number five, have your ducks in a row so that you can present your proposal on the spot. So there you have it. Five things successful painting contractors do and you can too to properly prepare your estimate to close more sales. Now, all you need to do is crush your first impression. And I'll show you how to do that in my next video. Hey everybody, I'm Steve with DYB Coach. Make sure you hit subscribe so that you don't miss the next video of actionable strategies. You've got this.